white man's construct. What you want me to do with that? Oh man! All right. Okay. That's Let's just now. Just us two. All right, Mark. <laughs> I guess so. Shit. Let me just start it. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Taste. Y'all gonna leave this behavior in 2020. <laughs> Which one? Which one? <laughs> Get the five, five together. Oh my goodness. Bad boys for life. That's it. I hear you. All right. So in 2021, we're gonna have a 5 30 call time. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> hey, I own it. I own it. I'm accountable. Who gonna check me, boo? It's me. <laughs> oh my goodness! Man, I was actually early this time. I was actually early. That's true. He was first early one with off. a haircut. Uh oh. Uh oh. What's really going good. on? All right. I had to go yeah. see my mama. Uh, <clears throat> five, four. Oh my gosh, we're getting counted in. To, did somebody say they want to count in? Oh, oh, oh. oh hey, hey, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Ashim. <laughs> we on Facebook. We, we, on live. Facebook. we, we live. live. We are live. And direct. Yep, I just got the announcement. <laughs> New Year's Bro. Eve special. Sheesh. A year in review? A Go black. Black thoughts. Ooh, New Year's go. Eve. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Welcome Here. to another episode of DBT Live. My name is Marcus. My name's Kevin. Stefania. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Stefania. <laughs> you got it, brother. You got it. <laughs> My name is Machine. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man. <laughs> My card the paper boy. All present and accounted for, <laughs> sir. That's what's up. <laughs> Looking good, no more, ladies and no more libations. Good. Yeah, right. Yeah. Who who who's messed up already? Jeez. Looking good. <laughs> no day. Hey, hey. Don't end your career tonight, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just getting started. Don't know where to go, but up. Tonight. Don't end your career. <laughs> you know what? I got some stuff to say. But <laughs> uh, well, shoot. The paper boy missed uh, the last episode, so yeah. let's start yeah. out with the paper boy. Let's let's, let's yeah. your mind. Let's kick it off. I, I I was in Texas, man. I I I, I quarantined. I quarantined. Uh, my mom was in. Uh, uh, was gonna spend Christmas alone, so I quarantined. Took my COVID test, and I drove um, approximately two thousand miles there and back. <laughs> Uh, so Trooper. my mom wouldn't have to spend Christmas alone, but gangster, yeah, that's, that's where true. I've been. Otherwise, I, I I did have I spoke to one of our uh, two of our uh, contributors, two of the people who contributed to the show. I spoke to um, uh, Jason Hennington. Um, the he's a, he's a black publisher out of Texas, mm -hmm. and I also spoke to uh, Lachelle Jackson. She also did. Um, a book for us yes she wrote a book and she came on and um both of them are doing great i don't know if marcus just wants me to get into the second part of that i can go for it yeah um, sure. both of them doing great and um jason hannington has agreed to come on and come under the umbrella um he does a uh weekly facebook live post uh it's actually um, it's a video for the taylor daily press it's uh, one of the few newspapers that is has a black editor and he does a live show every week and that's going to come under the dope black uh, thoughts umbrella and we will be putting that out um on our youtube uh channel so booyah and podcast <laughs> and all that other stuff. <laughs> yes sir that's that's exciting shoot yeah and welcome <laughs> Exactly. Marcus, you got a soundboard or what's since, since y'all be still a, since y'all steal my horn. <laughs> <laughs> Can't have nothing around here. <laughs> no, that's what's up. Yes. Exactly. Now we get if we can get Lachelle to have a special show where she does the erotic. I don't know. Man. <laughs> um uh, I got a nice story time. <laughs> right. She... My mama read the book. 
<laughs> she really and uh, I knew. <laughs> he said no. What you mean no? My mom what? read the book. Was like, I can't. I didn't want to read it, but I couldn't put it down. Amen. Do you know what she wrote? No, mm. like, yes. Was that? She liked it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she loved it. But I gotta. You gotta understand. My mom is a good old-fashioned Southern Baptist Christian yes. woman. And if and she couldn't put it down, come on. Wait, I, 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 go ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening. So, to you. this is my thing. Now, unless it was immaculate conception, <laughs> I ain't, I ain't. and ain't nobody oh. making babies to keep me near the cross, down at the cross where I first saw the light. Ain't nobody getting their groove onto that. <laughs> you right. They, they were waiting in the water, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. My mama. Yeah, uh, I see your mess. You put the shade back, because my mom <laughs> ain't done none of that. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put the shade Listen. back in its, in its sheath, because my mom ain't got none of that down Listen, by her. Um, Most of us were conceived to Luther Vandross and Teddy Pendergrass, so I think she, I think I think she's, I think it's okay. Right. Teddy Pendergrass. Oh, she said Are Luther. I'm I'm young. Luther. Uh, so you, you gotta okay. say what I Luther. Well, Luther, this is right? the 70s. It, was Mar it was Marvin Gaye for me. And it was yeah. Yeah. Back Marvin Gaye. Stork brought Look me. here. So. I don't need all the testimonials of your conception, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you, Kevin. <laughs> hey, it's beautiful. It's you got a review? <laughs> what, you left a five star <laughs> review, or what's going on with that? With your with your conception music? I'm just I'm just being facetious. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> ain't that kind of party. <laughs> Started off that way, I tell you. Jeez. Hey, look, my mom read love stories. My mom read love stories, and I was always like, "Oh, it's gonna be some lovey dovey," you know. And I saw her in my heart to skip the beat, and then I picked one up and read it, and I was like, "Whoa, that's why it was a page turner." It's raunchy. They they get to the Very details, raunchy. to the details, to the inch. The <laughs> exactly, and and the one that I picked up. So hey, I look, said I'm, inch. I'm probably. <laughs> Yeah, that was unfortunate. <laughs> hey, at least oh, he doesn't say send me. That was unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and here I am reading things like half, <laughs> and I'm supposed to be reading this. <laughs> to the millimeter. Okay. To the millimeter. Oh my gosh. No, but funny. but uh, I'm in, I have my fifth or sixth grade mind, and I read this love this love story, and it was um, consent. Um, it was it had a an archaic version of consent in, in, in the story that I read. <laughs> That's yeah, a good point. the consent part was bad, and the uh, the force part was bad, you know. And it was still an erotic thing that was out there. It wasn't banned. It wasn't, you know. I don't. Hey, look, I don't know, man. I I think there's a place in the DBT universe for for Lachelle to 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 propagate this stories stories. I, She's got multiple did a, books. <laughs> I almost did a drop for you guys while I was there, um, but you didn't. Why? Oh, mm. Mm. take the shade, sheathe the shade, sheathe <laughs> the shade. I mean, <laughs> I removed the shade and it's replaced with shade. I think it just didn't want it. We're going to try to leave 2020 and we're going to leave it on a good note. I but, seems dropping an EP. It's called, it's called 24 Hours of Shade. Yes. At high noon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, yes, Mike, you almost dropped the drop, and, and what happened? <laughs> I got a couple drops that I dropped. I just wanted to wait to see what was going to happen with the story of uh, of the lady out of, you know, the at the hotel. Now that I know her name now. So it's well, like, listen, uh, I'm so glad we're moving away from erotic, because every time we were talking about erotic and y'all talking about dropping drops, you know, my mind. <laughs> <laughs> my mind. Yes. We did. We didn't say drip. <laughs> that dropped. Okay, well, listen. <laughs> That's good. That will be in the next book. Oh, my God. All right, all right. But yes, yes, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Drop so the, the, the child abuser, the, the woman that likes to assault children in New York, you were saying? Yes. They, uh, of course, you know, the internet is undefeated, right? They find everyone. So they found out her name uh, and... Uh, and they said she here's the part that pisses me off. She spoke out and CNN refused to give her name, but they give the name of the young 14 year old, right? 
What? Let's guess her race. You know, that's one, another one of those let's guess her race things. We all yes. know. Yes, oh. exactly. And so I was trying to look up her name again. It was it was something weird. But well, she's break down the main story. And she still her story is that she was assaulted first. Although <laughs> we've seen yes. video. We seen the other angles of the video. She wasn't assaulted by any stretch of the imagination. At all. This is not the video you were looking for. Right, exactly. Jeez. So, yeah, they found her name. I got to find out her name again. But, yeah, they found it. I got it. Started exposing her. Yeah. So. I mean, Let's see. Her name not, is. Her name's not the issue. Her, it's the, Maya Pon, Poncetto. That's it. Poncetto. But that, that's not the issue. It's it's a privilege. She could have yes, been Lord. Mariah Booty Fufu. It, <laughs> it's her privilege that's the, that, that is the, the issue. Yeah. I agree, but then we're here to this whole throw a rock, hide a hand media, right? The same one that is responsible for us having the orange piece of flame in office, the same one that's responsible for continuing to have the message of white supremacy push and anti-blackness push. Um, as we talked about, remember we were talking about the last episode when I missed Stefania saying the name of the person, and I was like, we always listen to the news, and if they never give a racial description, we know what the person is. So here the media does, they push this, they drop the name of the 14-year-old, mm -hmm. but yep. Yep. keep the name of the white woman silent. Yep. How do we do that? Like, when are we putting that, when, when do we put out the names of the abused? When do we put out the names of children? Right, yes, right. yes, like when they're black. Because you know listen, y'all are conceived, black people ain't nothing but uh, the embryos and then they, the babies in the womb. Then, as soon as they drop from the room, they, they're grown, <laughs> right? There's yeah, nothing in between. There's that, that is absolutely a, a correct statement. There is a, and it's and definitely against young black men, there is a level of. I don't want to say responsibility, but things black children are held to a higher uh, a level of accountability than any other, and especially young black men than any other group. Period. You have done things when you were thirteen year olds, fourteen year olds, that if they were done by someone of a different race or a different or a different gender, that would be oh, kids being kids. Um, a black child does that. 13, 14 year old, we have to punish, correct. We have mm -hmm. to get as many authorities um, um, involved as possible. And, and once you get into the system, Marcus, uh, Kevin, you guys know, once you get into the system, it ain't like the job of the system is to get you out. Nope. <laughs> right. And I'm, a I'm a testimonial to that, Carter. To absolutely, 100%. There are so many things that have happened in my life that had it have been a white uh, a child involved, there would have been a, a story, you know, a slap on the wrist, there would have been a reprimand of words instead of a reprimand <laughs> with handcuffs. Yep, amen. Yeah. We started watch service early, amen. <laughs> right. Well, here's what's interesting. So you have that story, and then, has you seen anything recently about the bomber from Nashville? Uh, so the, the misunderstood man, the, yeah, the, the stressed out. <laughs> I think it's a man who's been about. making bombs in his RV for a year. Nobody's and, uh, reporting it. It was ignored. Nobody's right. talking it, about him anymore. It's like and the it. girlfriend said, hey, you need to come check out old dude. Uh, his girlfriend. <laughs> right. He knows me in the biblical sense. Right. And I'm telling you <laughs> that you need to go check him out. Now, when the police got there to check him out, they thought, oh, he's just making bombs. He's harmless. Oh, my God. Let's just ignore that. If, if wow. his name, if his last name was Abdul or his first name was right. Muhammad, what do you guys think would have happened? Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. Just yep. a harmless old white dude making bombs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right. It's crazy to me. I mean, we have school shootings where kids were making bombs in bedrooms and it was ignored. And now we have... This one where, you know, how I many, like, really? 16 we months before. 16 months. 16 months. You yes. to call white people terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have this conversation about the Oklahoma City bombing museum? No. No. I don't remember it. Of course, I, of course, I went there. I went to Tulsa, and, of course, I went to go visit. That was, I was crazy. One of, the, 
when, and, yeah. and we know, everybody knows who did the Oklahoma City bombing. There's no confusion. Um, the, the color of the person's skin is not in question. A white and, domestic terrorist, for those who did not know. Museum. What's the oh, white right? and Muslim? No. If you go white to and Christian. Museum, yeah, one of the white things Christian. <laughs> that they have is, and, 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 and contrast it to the museum in New York. Are, are the, the memorial in New York for the World Trade. Mm -hmm. You go to the one um, for the Oklahoma City bombing. It is about, okay, what level of accountability? Why would somebody do this? Mm -hmm. What drove him to it? <laughs> All, trying to get into either, I won't say, trying to get into the head of the individual, right? And, and why would somebody do this? Go to the one in New York. Agreed. Not <laughs> hey, it it happened though. That sob that you know there is nothing about why or how or just that it happened, and it's that level of accountability that domestic terrorists get. That level of like domestic terrorists, we need to look inside their mind and think about why they're doing these things. <laughs> but other people commit the same crime, and we don't care. We just oh. It happened. The, They're back. They're doing that, though. They well, they're the in the mind of those guys. Let me translate just a little bit. When we look into the minds of not domestic terrorists, into white people that commit crimes, uh -huh. we're going to call a thing a thing. In okay. the words of the, the great poet Ayanna Van Zandt, we're going to call a thing a thing. When white people commit crimes, we want to look into the mind to understand why and to also humanize them as well. Right? Yes. right. That's, it. Yes. That's it right there. Just were they out. disturbed? Were they brilliant? But but something threw them off on their on their track. Yeah, you know. Trying to humanize. Were they very you're right. That's what they're trying to say about the the bomber in uh, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. He was um, he was depressed and had been given a terminal uh, diagnosis of cancer. Do we care? He level like it's amazing, and I agree with the sentiment. It came from I saw it on um, D. L. Hughley's page where he said, it's amazing how all the people who were loud about uh, buildings being trashed and violate, uh, uh, um, destroyed during right. the, the protest, but they're quiet when a man levels a city block. A city block. A city block. Levels. Levels. Should have blown up a target, and then that would have gotten him involved. And they're, they're, they're making this out. support. Where's they're Kyle Rittenauer? They were Where's his, yeah, Rittenauer. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Why oh. isn't Kyle Rittenauer upset? Because he, he stood his ground while defending burning trash, literally. A By dumpster line, fire is what he wanted to Crossing state lines with a gun along with his mother who also had a gun. Okay. With a mindset to menace. With a mindset to menace. Where is a Channel 9 news reporter security guard when you need one? Ah! Mm. <laughs> That's right? it. That's An it. An armed security guard. Bars. <laughs> Say That's it. it. Hmm. Oh, that's spot on. Don't shooting. give me nothing else to drink, man. We <laughs> had another shooting. The young man who went into, who shot four, four people. I got to look up. I got to, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm speaking out of terms. But you, did, did you guys hear about that before Black, uh, no, no, I'm sorry, no. the bowling alley. The yeah. six people that were shot in the bowling alley. And mm -hmm. yet they, they took him into custody unharmed trying to figure out, trying to, again, humanize him and figure out why did he want to do this? Why, you know, he's a, um, a Green Beret. Let's try and understand him. Why? Well, we why do make we us terrorists. Uh, Ex-military. Ex and and the, the true message Actors. isn't why should we understand them? The question is, the real question is, why aren't they trying to understand black people when they're, whenever they're having an infraction with the law? Because as we were talking about the juvenile of offenders, they're always charged as adults. Or charged mm -hmm. to the to the maximum extent of the law and, and treated with with perfect culpability when they should be given some bit of grace that you give your 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 uh sh your shooters of churches that kill nine people for yeah. sitting inside your yeah. your bombers who you were warned about sixteen months in advance and what sixteen yeah. months. What I would say is if they if if the narrative was trying to look inside and humanize um, uh, uh, people of color. That means resources that they are not willing to allocate uh, for people of color. It's mm -hmm. easier to just say you are inhuman and go about your business, put them locked up, as opposed to, all right, well, we got to figure out why. We got to figure out, and you know, we know why. 
<laughs> well, so I guess my whole issue with this whole process is that it's out the news. People aren't talking about it anymore. That they show pictures of him when he was a young high schooler instead of the typical mugshot that we get for a person of color. That they are talking about how he grew up and all this other nonsense in a positive manner, but yet dehumanized a person of color. And yeah, so, they're not. They're not. Um, they're not saying was was there drugs in his system when we did his autopsy after we right. killed him, trying to take him into custody. Good they're not point. doing that. Nope. Good Nothing. point. Nothing. Well, I, I, I'm I'm beyond it. I, I'm I'm so tired of it. I, I look forward to leaving that, you know, behind. But we all know. Leaving what behind? When? Yeah, leaving what behind and when? Are you moving? Well, I am. I, I'm moving to a tropical island where I don't get to see the news and Twitter. <laughs> Some nonsense. I'm just good. <laughs> Marcus for good? Y'all thought I was going solo. Marcus is about to up and move to an island. <laughs> I, listen, let me tell you something. I've, invited, my... you. I've invited you all. <laughs> yeah, no, Marcus, yeah. I, I, that is my plan. I am working on my husband. Oh. We are leaving this country because it, it's, it's not going anywhere. It's not getting any better. It's I want to see the entire better. world. I want to. I want to go everywhere. Exactly. I just, right. I want, I want to go everywhere. We'll so, um, so, 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 you, you remember my guy? You remember? Um, I don't know if you remember uh, Son Fom. Remember he was in the yeah. office. Yeah. So, so a good friend of mine went to law school with me. He took six months off and just traveled. That's all he did. He literally traveled. He traveled on the budget. He carried a backpack, and uh, he just he just stayed at you know hostels and all other stuff. And that's what he did for six months, and it changed his life. And I'm like, Dane, he did that at 37 years old. I'm like, okay. So it's like, that's what I need to do. I need to go experience in that aspect because when you live in this and you see this and that people are debating on $2,000 or an additional right. $1,200 and right. you got Mitch Masuckle or McConnell, excuse me, <laughs> you got this guy who says that he doesn't want the rich to get checks. You you worried about that now? Now? Are we getting a check or not? <laughs> I haven't been following it. I don't know. No, I he said the rich. He didn't say the wealthy because they've gotten theirs. They don't consider them rich, so they'll get another check. The wealthy, mm -hmm. the one percenters. He's talking about the rich. From which there. Is the rich, which is the middle class, he doesn't want us to have that little six hundred dollar check. Well, yeah, they, when, when they commoditize things that, sh that should not be commoditized, such as, you know, incarceration and education mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, health care, um, it's easy for the rich to get their checks. I think they just wake up and they get their checks. And they're also, they're in a, they're in a offshore account, not paying the full amount of taxes that all of us are required to pay. But then so, how do we get rich? So the other thing about it is <laughs> if you make above, was it $75,000 a year, you're not getting one of these checks. So for that sorry sack of dung to sit up there and say, we don't want rich people to get the checks, $70,000 a year is rich? Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Not in Colorado. You know what our I mean, insurance costs? Insurance yes. supply people costs? Shh, it's damn near a mortgage payment, darn near, what I'm paying for insurance. So, so what, I, what I don't understand is like when he says these type of things, and when we do the map, when we know, right, none of us, well, I mean, we don't work deep in the sense, and no one's ever worked deep in the bowels of the census, right? But so from the levels of knowledge that we have, and we understand what the red areas look like, what that incomes type of stuff is there, and, mm -hmm. you know, these dirt floor, double wise, single wise, um, <laughs> two holders, one holders, all this type of stuff that these people are still living in these conditions in. Why aren't we running as we, and I keep saying, I say we as Democrats, why aren't the Democrats not running a message of, listen, this is how they hate you, right? Mm. They, they, they say this, but you're not living better underneath them. But we just assume that everyone can read above an eighth grade level and digest the information that they read and that they will actually go out and read those who can read, right? Mm. And that's our problem. We don't relate to the people. No. You're right. Well, if you relate to them, they're going to call you a socialist and say you want to do a full-blown government takeover of everything. All these people that have, that have advocated for a regular... Only some. You muted yourself. <laughs> I'll call right in the middle of it. But they're, they're being told, oh, that person is a socialist. They want a government takeover and all that. And that's not 100% that's not accurate. Well, it's not accurate at all. It, it's zero. <laughs> socialism is 100%. You already know who, who just did that. You know who did that. Yeah. <laughs> 
a socialism uh, as a you, government takeover. Socialism is, is for the people, by the people, about the people, uh, decided by the people. I had to have a debate with my son today about the difference between a, a democracy and a republic. I'm glad he, I'm glad he understood the difference. Well, kind of. But you're right. People don't get it. They don't get so, it. So you said you had to have a conversation. What did he want to do? And you said, not underneath my roof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not a democracy. <laughs> Drop that. This is not a democracy. In my, in my house, it's, in my house, it's a republic. I am the elected representative. Yeah. And I do what I do. I don't, even, I don't even go that level. I will take everything under advisement. <laughs> right. There's only one HNIC. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, oh man. I'm taking it all under advisement. You are speaking of that, a, a, a quick pivot. Um, Speak your mind. When you said HNIC, it made me think back to a movie I saw back in the 80s, a movie about Joe Clark. Lean right? on me. Yeah, Lean on Me was the movie. Um, and it's with sad news that I report that Joe Clark has transitioned on to glory. Yeah, he sure um, At the age of 82. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah rest in health. So for our school board people, Joe Clark was an educator um, that got... <laughs> <laughs> school, you know the school board director that has so many Jordans he's relating to the students like all day like you're that director um, but <laughs> I'm trying to be like Kevin now and there's <laughs> <laughs> but um so he's a teacher promoted to principal principal like he got some criticism on how he got Eastside High mm -hmm. together how would he have fit in how would his ideology have fit in with how you all believe the school should go? Mm. Good, good question. Yeah, good question. Right? <laughs> well, look, okay. we're just a pretty the, face. <laughs> yeah, but we're not the leaders of the, uh, of, of the school district. We're the liaisons to the public for the school right. district. And honestly, the question is, well, how would Aurora receive that type of, of education leadership? And I think to, in today's cancel culture, I think uh, Joe Clark would have been immediately canceled for coming forth with a baseball bat and locking a chain around a door and calling a kid a crackhead instead of saying, you know, hey, are you suffering with addiction? Use your brain, say it. Use your brain. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, look, I, could, I could roll with them to a degree, but, you know, today, today's society, you know, there's a lot of things that we've, we've rolled away from. Let's be real. Today's society is soft, uh, you know. Soft. Just, just factual in that aspect, you know. Because back in the day when I grew up, you got paddled in school. Your mm -hmm. teacher could paddle your butt, mm -hmm. and after that, you could go to the principal's office and he could paddle your butt. Mm -hmm. Oh, gone and, it! And then come home, and your mama's gonna paddle your butt. No, well, she, oh, paddle. she she made you go pick the switch out the yard. Yeah. How old are you? And if your yeah. mama wasn't home yet, if your yes. mama wasn't home yet, and your you. friend told Miss So and So from down the street, she could whoop you. Ooh. And tell your mama, and then your mama's gonna whoop you. Depending on how many people you related to on your way home, yeah. <laughs> yeah. how many times you got paddling. Let's yeah. call it that. It's paddling. No, oh, paddling yeah. something if they the first lady school. knew your parents, you was getting it from them yep. too. So you know, either y'all yeah. are like hella old, or y'all grew up in the country. I'm old. Oh. <laughs> because like. I was a corporal punishment household. Like my mom, <laughs> she she was almost like the Marquis de Sade of, of raising kids, right? But um, nah, she wasn't that bad. But um, everybody couldn't whoop me. Oh, see, you know no. what I'm saying? Like, but my mom, everybody could tell my mom, like, yo, you know what Hashim did? But I never received. I got my hands paddled once in preschool, and it was I went to the the church school. Man, <laughs> my did family mom, didn't play did that. Did your mom yell at the teacher for battling your hands? My uncles almost went up to the school. See, that's, that's I think where we had the breakdown. That's where I think <laughs> things have taken taken a turn. Oh, but I wasn't. I really was not a bad kid. Um, but right. it could have been where my, they said, "Hey, Sister Coates, uh, Hashim did X, Y, Z," and I'm like, "Oh, damn! I'm about to get it right." Like, so I, I, I think. As society advances, and now we're even in the age where they're like, no, corporal punishment is completely off the table and blah, 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 blah. I don't subscribe to that. 
Um, but I look at Joe Clark and I look at what East Side High was and I look at the, the student population, black and brown kids majority, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you say that we have study after study that shows that black educators and black men do bet kids receive well better from a black educator. If we have to go into these black and brown schools with a cookie cutter model that is historically shown not to work, I, I think that's problematic, right? Like, don't be abusive to my child, but you might have to get creative with my child. Yeah. Uh, and I, and my, my, so children I received, my children received enhanced uh, timeouts. You know, it may involve pulling <laughs> the arms up, you know? Enhanced. Enhanced timeout. Yeah, what, what is the hand that is? <laughs> Turn the heat up. It involves a. It involves a. Uh, it involves. There's the an Fifth enhancement. Amendment, Kevin. Remember because, the Fifth Amendment. <laughs> because kids, no kids, they, they they my kids at least they getting that time out and everything's still entertaining. They still doing the same thing. It's like, hey, look, I'm timing you out. Put your hands up and look in that corner, you know. And when the hands start coming down, it's like, all right, now are we serious yet? Cool. And I, I was doing everything in my in my power to not go down the same corporal punishment road that I went down. I don't think it's it effective. Works, you know? I, I it don't works. think it's effective at a certain point. Yeah. I just don't think it is. Here's my problem. I agree. Here's my problem. I think on several levels, I, I agree and I disagree with corporal punishment because I think that every child is different. And there's some people, some yes. of them that don't respond to it, and some people that some children that do respond to it, and some, mm -hmm. you know, I, I disagree with calling it abuse unless it truly is abuse. Like if a child does something wrong and he receives a spanking for it. That's not abuse. That that is that is a, um, a a reaction to what he did. However, if I'm waking up in the morning and I'm saying you again, get the belt. You know that's abuse. Right. That's right. abuse. So you know I, I I feel some type of way when I I look at how the government came into our homes and back in the day, the white men were very adamant. Don't tell us what to do in our houses. Don't tell me how to raise my kids. Don't tell me I can, can't beat my wife behind closed doors. And now they're in there telling us, don't spank your children. Um, why? I don't why? think that. Well, you, no, 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 hold on. You can spank your kids. Like, you can spank your kids. You cannot beat your children. Right. <laughs> there's, there's the line. You can okay, spank your children. So when we split that hair, the only people that we're claiming beat their kids are Black people. White people are spanking their kids the same way black people are spanking them, whether it's with, I'm just saying, the, the reason why we split that hair is so that we can apply that law to certain groups of people and not apply it to others, which means we're going to apply that law to black people, and we're going to put their parents in jail and threaten them not to discipline their children, because now we're, you know, we're afraid how we discipline our children, so we don't. So now the police have, you have these unruly kids out there who yeah. will fall into the system. Well, that was a real and, and to be fair, like we don't just have unruly kids because we're not corporal punishing our kids. There's there 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 there's some other mitigating stuff that goes into place like that. Like, I mean, th there's there's mental issues that are going on. There's social issues that are going on. Like, you know, you have disrupted homes, like kids living in homelessness. Uh, yeah. You know, below standard poverty levels. Like, it's just it's a lot of stuff that goes into it. But and I don't have kids. Uh, but I really feel that I, I'm pretty good with kids. And I think that the consistency is the mm -hmm. is the best thing. Like, you have to be consistent with whatever you choose to do. And you can't be a one-trick pony when it comes to dealing with kids. Because they are educated, people. That's an educated summar, summarization, though. So no, that's, no, 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 no. Two things children can snip out. Okay. Democracy and boundaries. <laughs> like, like okay. I could watch your kid for 10 minutes and... If, if if you have hypocrisy or lack of boundaries, they will sniff it out. But like I said, I don't believe corporal punishment is the most effective way to discipline it's, your children. It's not when I was a child, and, and I went up through, when I was a kid in school and the choice was SWATs or detention, I take the SWATs all day long because detention lasts an hour and a half, two days. <laughs> right. so I, damn, let's go. Come on, I got stuff to do. <laughs> and I yes. got to tell my mom. That's why corporal punishment doesn't work. You want to sit on that stoop for an hour for whatever, or you want to get a spanking. Spanking. Let's but look, go. Spanking. Guys, let's go. Yeah, I, I want to talk about the culture shock. 
I got stuff to do. <laughs> well, yeah, we. What was I opted for the I, I opted for the pops on, on multiple occasions, and I remember when the when the assistant principal got his his paddle upgraded. He got the polyurethane with the holes with the in holes it, in it. Holes in it. it. <laughs> all that. So, um, but I was gonna say it was also a culture shock when I would go to uh, my Caucasian friends' uh, houses and hear how they would talk to their parents, but they wouldn't That's talk different. like that to me. Because I would corporal punish my friend, <laughs> you know, because we're boys in the schoolyard. Like you ain't gonna talk okay. to me crazy. Oh, yeah, so they would go that's home different. and be that's like, different. and be like, "Mom, don't you tell me this? I can't believe that." And yeah, I'm gonna play my game, and I want my Game Boy. And you're like, "What? He's gonna die," you know? And that's that's not just a joke. The black comedians say that's that's real fear. Like you really. <laughs> but that's different. That's different. That that What's that's different about it. Because I can set a boundary. Like you're not gonna talk to me like that. I'll take everything from you. <laughs> you sit on that step with nothing on. I, like, we'll, we'll play that game. But that's the boundary. I don't have to beat that into you. You're smart enough to know. Mm. Wait a minute. Okay. It's a, it's a, it's if I a cross tier, this line, response, I'm going so. to lose something that I want. Like that's I said, I, I think that every kid is different. I had a daughter who got everything taken away, including the door off of her bedroom. And that that's did pit. not face her. That's right there. Did not face her at all. That's pit. Right? Didn't face her. She didn't care. So, I mean, you know, she's a great kid now, but, you know, she had that one little teenage, you know, teenage year, just, just, it was not effective. But what she probably appreciated about you was your consistency and the boundaries that you kept setting. Like, God, dog it. Okay, I told you I was going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then now when she goes out and does what she wants to do, she comes home and she understands. What the, so it's not some type of, there's no, there's no hypocrisy in the conversation. Right. Do this, this is going to happen. Not, oh, uh, Come on, Roger, do better. No, you do this. Now this is going to happen. Yep. That's what I mean by boundaries. And, and look, y'all, uh, uh, psychology and, and the science behind raising our kids has all improved over the last 40 years. So we know a little bit better about how kids re respond. And, and we were raised in, non, in non-optimal uh, circumstances, just being Black people in America. So, of course, we had the non-optimal uh, options laid at, our, laid at our feet for the majority of the time in the first place. So, I like, I... I'm culturally, I'm culturally desensitized to, to some of the, uh, the qualms people have with, co with corporal punishment. And I fully recognize that the science and the, the research says it's not the best way to handle it. And, I, you know, obviously I've moved away from corporal punishment well, you know, well before I had kids. Like, I'm not a fan of it. And hence, the, hence the timeout talk. And I remember how I used to get looked at when I put my kid in timeout in front of other black people. You know? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. you, yeah. Time out. Like, yeah, one one thing time I out. hate across the board is public parenting. Um, and mm -hmm. I mean, like, I'm so, I, I, I will look at your bad ass. Kid. I don't, first of all, I don't believe kids are bad. Um, I, I, I think they're so free spirit or whatever. Uh, and, and those that are, it's so low. It's, it's so low that are actually bad. Um, but I'll be in a store and I'll see a kid doing something and I'll just be like, mm, 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 just out of line. So I'll start staring, right? So then the parent, well, like, whoop the kid or hit the kid. I'm thinking, you don't do this at home. Because, see, I know That's what why. at home discipline look like. Because at home discipline is nice in public. <laughs> right, you don't have right, to do right. that. But I hate when parents do that in public. And I've even told a parent before, I said, that you don't have to put on a show for me. My judgment is already in. Like, continue <laughs> to do what you normally do. Don't beat that kid in front of me. <laughs> I, I, right. I completely agree with that. Because when, yeah. when I, I think that is a reflection uh, whenever my kids start acting up in public, I definitely think that's a reflection on me. And I have to explain to them that that's a reflection on me. And while... <laughs> you mean, Jimmy, you mean the, 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 the talk about don't get in here and act some type of fool because you're not going to be embarrassing me? That? That is a reflection no. on me. And so while no. I, might not re I might not discipline you in this store... <laughs> When we get home. <laughs> when we get home, that's a look. That's, that's, a, like, that's so the like longest she, walk to the car. Said it, that's like, a look. Like, you got to go home with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's yeah. the longest hundred yards you ever walked across a park. You gotta go home. <laughs> See, my mom's theory was where you show out is where I show up. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah. Right? Uh -huh. And I'm like, yikes, I can't deal with that, right? And I think that it's, <laughs> I think it's psychological torture to be like, you know, when we get home, I'm going to beat your butt, right? And again, mm -hmm. I'm like, good. oh my God, can we just go home and get this did. over with, please? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's it. Hey, who That's used to put on two to pairs of pants? Who, who oh. used to put on two pairs of pants and and and, <laughs> and try to stuff stuff in? Right through them. Listen, hey, hey, hey mom, yeah. can you just hit me right across my butt? 
Right. Got a story for you. Got a story for you. Don't miss. Yeah. Don't hit my, the back of them thighs. Please don't hit the back of them thighs. My stepfather sniffed it out. Right. So I put on the two. I knew the woman was coming. Right? He was coming home. I knew the woman was coming. So I put on the two pair of pants, two pair of underwear. Right. He says, all right, go ahead, go to bed. I'm like, whoa. I made it out to clear. Oh, straight up. Straight up, she. I made it. I'm safe. I go to bed, put on my pajamas, take off all the extra clothes. Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. Man, this is the worst whooping I ever received. <laughs> the worst. I was playing with fire. Woo. Right. But in my defense, it was a control <laughs> burn. Oh, burn. <laughs> it was a control burn. So this is so I hate a wax Pepsi cup. You guys remember these cups, the Pepsi yep. and the Coke cups? So my mom had some at the house. Um, it was the summertime. You know, I'm off from school. I, was, I just I was curious, right? I was a curious kid. You know, white kids could get away with this type of shit and be called like little young scientists. But no, me, I'm the little Negro that's trying to burn down the house and cause us to be homeless. <laughs> Oh my! So, but I burned it in the sink, right? So it was a cast iron. It was one of the you know the metal sinks, you know, that's painted yeah. over. And yeah. so I'm burning the cup there. And so like if I if it got too hot, I take the burn and just turn the water on, and I'm good, right? And everything is done. My thing. Okay. So I did my little thing, burnt it up, finish it up, turn the water on. Everything was wet. Threw it away. Put a pa- put a paper towel on top of it in the trash can. Uh huh. <laughs> The hiding. <laughs> yes, so my, my mom says she comes home from work. She's using the restroom. She looks over at the tub and was like, "What's this? What's these specks on the tub?" Right? And so she hates bugs. So she's freaking out like, "Oh my god, we got ants!" Like, "Oh my god!" So she goes to kill it, and like it moves. And so she's like, "What the hell?" So. <laughs> She finally gets a piece and rubs it, and you know how like the soot does, and it's a wax paper cup. So crazy. Didn't say nothing, right? So she's like, she washed her hands, and when she threw her paper towel in the trash can, it hit my paper towel. <laughs> and so you saw the burn Pepsi cup. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So she didn't say a word. I ate dinner. Everything was fine. Wow. It was time for my bath. I'm in the bathtub playing with my toys oh, wow. and stuff. Oh, Next no. thing I know, right, this is why I'm so adamantly opposed <laughs> to a <laughs> no-knock warrant. No, no. She hit you with the no-knock warrant. She hit you with the no-knock warrant. Next thing I know, boom, bathroom door kicked in, and she just come in swinging. Oh, my. I, I, a butt woman while you're wet. That's what I like that, dude. So no I'm, trying to, I'm trying to, like, hide underneath the tub, <laughs> but she, like, she wait. I can't breathe soapy water. I can't breathe water, regular water. So, <laughs> <laughs> So I cannot say that I stopped playing with fire. I stopped burning paper products, and I start burning rubber, rubbing alcohol because it does not leave soot. <laughs> you became wow. smarter. You evolved. Yeah. He became a better criminal. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Whoa, 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 You got smarter at your craft. That's what that is. Thank you. Thank you, Stefania. Can we mute Michael? Ah, I'm I'm on, dude, I'm on your side, Ashim. Uh, I'm, I'm not okay. no not warrant. Thank you, Brutus. That's hilarious. I got you. I think every every black household has a no not warrant allowed. No not warrant. Oh my gosh. (laughs) But yeah, wasn't there a Florida woman? Wasn't there a Florida woman that had a no knock uh, done on her, and she ended up shooting the people that came in? There was a black woman. I thought that. Yeah, black woman. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't didn't hear about that one. They, They deemed it. Uh, well, they, I don't know if it was deemed anything yet, but I heard about Standard. that. Did they put her in jail yet? Is she, is she, was she? Geez. No, she actually, she was cool. No issues because oh, she was really? in the home. Well, it's so the, weird because we know those laws are not written for us to take advantage of. Right. Um, that's so weird because when you hear about the woman that was abused by the man and he came into her home and she gave a warning shot and yeah. she ended up serving time. That's yeah. true. Yeah. In Florida, sure. wasn't that in Florida yep. too? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it was. Don't get me talking Same about. DA. Remember, remember, old girl from uh, Lori Laughlin just got out of prison <gasps> for her little uh, two month stint for for what she did. But we Education. still have some black women who are in prison she because they were trying to get to a better place for their kids. Right. Absolutely. Who didn't? Who didn't bribe anyone? 
Who didn't? Who didn't? Who all they said was, this is my address. Yeah. The better area. Yep. That's it. That's it. Affluenza. Five years, 10 years. Man. What the hell? In, 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 in this climate, we should just be happy that they actually put her in jail. Lori Laughlin. Because the reality is, none of us thought she... One at all. I know. I'm saying, do we even believe that she was going to go to jail when it first came out? Does anybody here of the five of us believe that she was going to jail? Well, I was surprised you, when she got jail time. The well, only um, time I believed it is when she's like, I'm not taking no plea. Yeah, exactly. And I thought, and I, the DA was like, oh, oh <laughs> yeah. time to make yes. an example out of this. So what instead of two weeks... Uh, Becky, what was her name? Yeah, so, so instead uh, of two weeks like your co-defendant, you're going to get two months. I'm hitting Ow. you with the book. Come on. Get two out. Two months. Yeah, it's no. nonsense. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. Listen, I have stuff in my refrigerator that has served more time in the back of my refrigerator. <laughs> in the freezer, definitely. I she served in jail for a felony. Yeah. Really? A felony yeah. by the Fed. And then you see her little punk ass daughter gonna go on uh the table right. red table talk, right? Red table. Red table. And talk about, oh, you know, I just knew I was wrong when I said I didn't want to go to college. And, you know, I looked at all the people that didn't have the same options. I'm like, girl, I was so glad that Jada's mom gave it to her, but she should have gave it to her a little bit more. Absolutely. She a little bit more. Like and she should have hit some charges, too. You know damn well you weren't on a rowing team. You can't even swim when you're on a rowing team. <laughs> <laughs> on a rowing team with a freaking... Life preserver. Right. <laughs> right. So, so I'm saying, like, you and all your kids would have been caught up in that. How old was yeah. she when that happened? 18? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Fraud. Yep. Jail for you, too. Yep. Husband, too. Yep. The husband's still in there. He got a five month sentence. Five months. Oh, yeah, poor they, baby. A the report, white woman. Came out, yeah, a report came out today saying that he's really struggling. He's yes. really struggling yes. in, in the country well, Tell him to relax prison. his muscles. In the what? Say that again? In the country club prison, but oh my God. Cut him off, Marcus, cut him off. Oh my God, a shame. Cut him off. All I said was relax his muscles. You relax, right? Um, <laughs> and you're at peace. Okay. Cut him off. I'm not Deep going breath. to jail over this, Deep Marcus. Breath. Cut him off. I ain't losing my license. <laughs> oh my goodness! What the hell? When the, when the world throws gonna you a, lemons, <laughs> we're gonna oh, get a knock at the door. We're gonna get a knock at the door, everybody. Oh, oh, maybe he'll come out like the rest of them, big up top, strong up top, weak little legs. He might. Start working or, out. You know, work out. He might have a new type of relationship. It might be a three-way relationship by the time he come out. Stop it! I was not talking about that. Oh, well, I'm wow. just. Hey, listen. <laughs> look, look, look at this. Who am I to judge? <laughs> I believe there's enough love Marcus, to go around. Love is tip. love. And, and in the words of the great poets, baby face and pebbles, you never know. You never know. You never know where you find love. And it's, oh not, it's not just Federal prison. Say if it's real. Federal prison. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you find love? Federal prison. <laughs> Isn't that not love after life? Lock up? Isn't that not a show? Yes. <laughs> Oh, wow. Are we saying that when you go to federal prison that, like, you lose some of your humanity and you are not capable of finding love? Mm. Right. Exactly. I wouldn't dare accuse him of that. You know what? I'm, 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 I, I've come around, Hashim. I'm on your side. I hope you yeah. find love. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't dare. Necessity <laughs> is, the, is the what of invention? Mother of, it, mother of invention. <laughs> or it may be the, the, the co-parents of it. Now, of how many of y'all have ever, I mean... I know we're all, have y'all ever seen the inside of a prison or jail? Not jail. Have we, prison. Have we seen the inside of a prison? Yeah. <laughs> Those like, two have. On a regular basis. <laughs> Look, he has died. <laughs> Those two. I've no, because they're defense attorneys. Oh, well, so I'm my thing is. Well. Actually, I'm, not, I'm talking about like, like Lori Laughlin's husband actually serving. Nah, I haven't. Oh, so, okay. Then. Oh, no, I, where, they're, where they're at uh, is a country club. It's a right, federal club. Mm. Yeah. So, he, but even Michael Cohen went in and came out saying, "We've got to do prison reform." It is still nothing nice. Of course, he's going. They have there. a whole different story once they go in there. Cool. Thank you, Michael Cohen. But he should get no limelight for that. As Agreed. many things, as many times as black and brown people have been saying that, I'd be like, I get so mad when like a white person says this, like, "Oh, really? That's a problem." It's yeah. been a problem well, since 1619. 
Okay, but yeah, he has those shoes to realize it. Can we get mad? He now wants to take on prison reform. He has oh one of those shoes. Accept it. Yeah, we can't. Okay, cool. Reform. But now he's going to get rich, right? He's going to get notoriety of being this champion for prison reform. Cohen? Yeah. He's done. DBT family, he went from the culture shock of crapping on golden toilets for, after selling his soul to his boss, mm -hmm. right? He's and done. then he had to go to real prison? Aluminum steel toilets. <laughs> That's it. I mean, come on. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta empathize with him. For I don't time. think he's gonna be a. I don't Where's think he's sympathy? going to be a hero to the left or the right. I would agree. No, but if he wants to champion and change the way that they're treated in there, let's. Say, I say let's let him. But he's been, treated. he's been on some lefty shows. I'll tell you that though. Agreed, yeah. because he because of his ten, because of his connection with Trump. Nobody mm -hmm. has any kind of legitimacy connected to his name. Yeah. The only reason we want to talk to him is because he was connected to Trump. Once that connection goes away, why would I? Why would we want to hear from Cohen, Michael Cohen, a B-level lawyer? Because there's his job. money to be made in prison reform. But why would I hear it from him? Because he's a white man. But he's got no in legitimacy. America. It's not just random white guy. You need <laughs> somebody thinking, with some legitimacy. You're, you're thinking like he's black and he, like he has to make all these qualifications and hit and all these benchmarks. What like, I'm saying is I don't believe Kim Kardashian either side would is doing to an understudy to join the ranks of the Esquires. <laughs> hmm. He, he, uh, he has uh, first hand knowledge. Isn't that enough? No. You, Kim Kardashian is a bigger she goes to jail. reform person <laughs> than the, either one of you all. First of all, you know who yeah. Kim Kardashian is. That tells you there's no such thing as meritocracy around here, Michael Carter. So let's stop the shenanigans. I don't care about meritocracy. I'm talking about would we listen or would somebody listen to Michael Cohen? And the answer is no. We Just because he's a white guy. What I'm we saying? America? You no, I don't what I'm believe saying. it. I believe Kim we would Kardashian, listen to her. When we talk we about that, her. come on now, why? Why would we listen to her? Well, she made that tape. Uh. <laughs> I almost, I almost dug up that word the NAACP tried to bury. <laughs> right? But regardless, no, it there has to be something. Even if it's notoriety. No, no, no. What we're saying, there has to be something. Mike, he Mike. Has <laughs> Thank you. Literally, individually, there, there is no reason. He has the notoriety and he has the right color skin. They will listen to him. I agree he has the right color skin, but I don't believe anyone's going to listen to him. We need another white man. What about the mouse small guy? Like who? Get the mouse small guy. Okay. I'm just saying, get another white guy. Hashim. Okay. Pick one. <laughs> All right. Find a... I'm just saying, find another white guy. Who's soaking hey. their black eyed peas right now? Man, hey. that's what I was going to ask. I was trying to get in and ask that earlier. Yeah. You just got to, you just got to jump in. You just got to. <laughs> Yeah. Who is who is just now getting the smell of chitlins out of their out of the corners oh, of their no. kitchen? Hey. Who's cooking chitlins? It it's 2020. Who's cooking chitlins? I was in Texas. I was in Texas all week. So yes, I partook. Of chitlins? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, man. Go ahead. Bro. Hey, you oh, you hey, Thank you. That's what oh. I'm talking about. Hashim, yeah. That's Hashim, relax your muscles. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, I relax my muscles, and I still think eating chitlins is disgusting. Uh, relax. Here. <laughs> you got a haircut in his own and yes, Carter. Hey. Huh. Wow. So, hey, look, look that, that uh, being in Texas and partaking in chitlins, that's the appropriate amount of space between me and where the chitlins are being cooked. Well, here's the thing. I'm not, I'm not doing a traditional nonsensical crap. Uh, like beans and all that other crap because you know why? Because 2020 sucks. <laughs> I'm doing something different. What are you I'm, doing? I'm, I'm, cooking, I'm, I'm cooking some steaks on a stone. <laughs> so so, so first of all, hold up, before I say what I got to say, are you going to be here cooking the steaks? <laughs> oh, look at you. The, the stone is too heavy. They're like two stones. So you're going to be in Colorado? Machine, you're not supposed to travel on New Year's. <laughs> I'm just saying, no, bring just, another, just cook not. another steak, just right? <laughs> He's about to make himself an invite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if he says no, my response is going to be harsher. Oh. Yes, Hashim, you can have There's a steak. An without. <laughs> oh, well, if I can have a steak, don't nobody say nothing bad to that man. Hey, and don't you yeah. talk about my boy. <laughs> Well, with she, an inviter without, it's happening. Listen, you can't trash the whole culture of Black Eyed Peas just because it failed us in 2020. 
It right. failed everybody in 2020. Though. Black Eyed Peas are like 20 for like what 200 years, and then they had one bad year. <laughs> but but listen, there are some that give the argument that the Black Eyed Peas are what sustained us. Is, which know. is why think, we're still here. I think it's time for a change. I don't know. I'm trying to do something different. I, I just, I don't know. I just don't know. I Black Eyed Peas. You better get that spoon pull. Don't leave it to chance. But Thank listen, you. I ate Black Eyed Peas and Greens last year, too. And that's I don't know. I, I, I'm on Marcus's side on this one. Like, <laughs> the only thing that saved us from Has some bacon in there? Some bacon yeah. juice? I was good. And then I'm thinking, yeah, yeah we going into this. And then... It all hit the fan. Well, yeah, what do y'all do for your part? I don't know what's in y'all. So. Then they dug the mass grave and brought the refrigerated 18 wheeler trailers to the hospital and docked them at the back. Yeah, you're right. It all hit the fan. No, no bean, no green beans or a dang, what, what are the black eyed peas? Black eyed peas. It was greens. Kevin. I figured I out my black eyed peas. It was. it was Kevin. Did y'all did leave chitlins in 2020 and eat the peas and the greens? No, not me. You gonna keep you the chitlins? I know. Knew it. Wait a second. People did in my house. Andre, I'm children. sorry. I got to pivot. Did Andre Harrell pass away this year too? Who? Who? He passed away, didn't he? Yes. He passed away. Dang. I'm sorry. I just was looking at this list. I, I just was blown away. Y'all ever uptown, heard? Of, uptown. Uptown. Heard of MF uptown. Doom. Y'all ever heard of him? Yeah. Who? Yeah. My guy. He died. He died August October 31st, 2020. Kenny Rogers died. His wife just mentioned it today because they kept it under wraps. I, I'm just. Well, Andre Harrell? I, well, no, Andre Harrell. I didn't realize he passed. In May. Sheesh, doggone. Well, just recently, who died yesterday was um, Shabadu. Uh, yes. He just yeah. posted on Twitter. Because I, I, I follow his Twitter. He just posted, no, Instagram. He's like, I'm good. I'm COVID 19 negative. That was like two days ago. He looked fabulous. Like, he and it, and he could have been, but they say that this thing swings around. Wow. And so it was COVID related, his death? They that's what I've said. That's what I've I think seen. it is. I think it is. Yeah. I mean, like, so COVID hits you, it does what it does to you. Um, you create the antibodies, it leaves you, the antibodies fade away. Now you come back COVID negative, but the effects are still there. Yeah. Mm. The effect is like somebody walking into your home right now, dumping out a bucket of roaches, mm. right? So you they take the bucket out, they clean up a little bit. You don't see anything to like two weeks later, right? Yeah, egg. like day. Exactly. Or you turn the wow. lights on too fast. Yeah, but um, okay. So <laughs> switching to some good news. Switching to some good news. Andre three thousand. I figure you might be aware of this, uh, Marcus. Uh, Andre three thousand has been shot. Shining a lot on food insecurity and working with Meals on Wheels in Atlanta over the last few weeks, and mm -hmm. even you know sharing recipes and whatnot. What, what, what do you think about that? Yeah, did you know Andre Three Thousand was a foodie? Had a yes. had a touch in the kitchen. The man's a goat. He is the goat. Okay, okay. I told you, right, Kevin. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I agree with Marcus. I agree with Marcus. Does everything else? My goodness gracious. Go He's for it. Goat. Goat. Okay, Kevin. he said it right. A uh, goat. What's up? What is the best Outcast album? Stop, sure. dude. Like, yeah, you about to call yourself out? Go ahead. Uh, okay. So, so, so you asking uh, me? Uh, no, 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 no. So for me, uh, it was probably uh, uh, the one before Quemini. Uh, come on now, the, the <laughs> come on. Oh, you, oh, Aquemini is number one. No, 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 not at all. The one you're okay, about to talk one? about is number one. But go for it. I, I'm I'm forgetting the name of it. I'm forgetting the name of it. Thank God you. AT aliens. There you go. It was AT aliens. Out of this world, are you alien? Yeah. Southern right, Playlistic was number two. That's, that was. I was trying to think of that one also. I mean, those three are, are really triumvirate to me because yeah, they're all you, such different did, say, did you say speaker box? You didn't say speaker box, right? No. Speaker box was a separate. All those speaker box was it was the speaker ah. box and the love below. Speaker yeah, love box below. was uh, big buy. Love below was Andre three stacks. Hashim, you seem awful quiet. I mean, because I just don't care. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Listen, okay. I was born in the West, the Northwest, what, and oh, I Northwest. love East Coast rap. So oh. it makes a lot? But... No, no Oakland for you? And that's not East Coast. 
So Compton Watts, what Ali. What did I so say? Who, who, who you said he was with? born who in the West back then? Right, and I West? love East Coast rap. Yeah, I know, but you don't love no no West Coast sounds. There's, wow. there's there's something to the rhythm of the West Coast. There's something on that, like I don't, I don't like. It is, and it's on a lot of West Coast music, and I'm, I'm I'm not a music expert, so I can't give you the specific breakdown of it. But I just like I like the the feel, the the griminess of East Coast rap. I showed my kids um, "Slam" by Onyx for the first time ever. And I, and I, I sh- yep, yep. I showed them how we used to dance to it. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's just being being ag, being that that whole everybody just walk in the room, aggy, and you know bald heads and just that yeah. kick when you, you know that that bounce. And so now I'm still thinking about this. You know, I feel like I got to defend my love for the East Coast. But yes. so hip hop is about the struggle, right? I'm not saying there's no struggle in the West, right? I'm not saying that at all. But when you add snow. <laughs> To that struggle. There's a but, certain but, little oomph that you get, out, and though. that's why I like the East Coast. <laughs> but check it out, though, Hashim. Violence yes, tends to go up in the good weather, right? Or in the hot weather. Well, I should say hot weather. I got you. And, and so and, and if you think about it, in Cali, when it's basically you know good weather, you can go outside and pull shenanigans all year round. Yeah, but shenanigans and violence is not the, 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 the only indicator for struggle. You, what is it? The ice cube line. True. Shooting in snowy weather. It's an illegal business, and we bleep still can't stick together. <laughs> that is ice a good cube. line. That is a great line. Is that ice the cube. Trump? Is that the ice cube that talked to Trump? This is no, no, no. This is the one from the eighties and nineties. Oh. I don't know who that other guy was. <laughs> he was an ice cube. Uh, the suit. other guy was just cube. He was an ice cube suit. He did switch. <clears throat> he was wearing. You are not suit. going to denigrate. Young Ice Cube. Ask a question, brother. That's all. No, you're talking about Doughboy, right? <laughs> I call it Doughboy. Don't, don't call me Doughboy. <laughs> nah, Ice Cube's son, man. He, he's a, a clone, isn't he? Yeah. Looks he's like him, clone. talks like him. Big Doughboy. He, play, I mean, he, he did a good job playing his dad in the movie. So... So okay, so back to the disastrous stuff because in our group in our group text, I, I read that article about uh, the person sabotaging the COVID vaccines in Wisconsin. Yeah. In ironically enough, Aurora Medical Center, while we lived yeah. in Aurora. I thought it was here. I thought it was here for a minute. I did. I was like, yeah. "What's going on?" <laughs> yeah, what's going on with Colorado? Thank yeah. God it wasn't. So, so they determined that it was like not it was deliberately pulled out and left out and not like i took this out to get to something why? else and i forgot to did put it back why? did they have a, a motive no why do we need to get I'm to understand them why do we need to get to understand why? Know why people are who's mad at the vaccine <laughs> and and also where's the where's the the person that attacks them gets away with it and then gets a gofundme that raises several hundred thousand dollars right to get them out of jail Jumping from stuff to stuff, I'm confused. My pillow guy will be there to support them, and Ricky Schroeder just, can get them out. I'm thinking of a Kyle Rittenhouse type of event. No, no one's, no one's Kyle Rittenhousing this this person that's that's ruining hundreds of, of people's doses of vaccines. You know, uh, he did it for for burning trash. And you know, when we're talking about destroying vaccines that could save someone from a deadly virus, no one's standing their ground. No one is, no one is, uh, you know, failing to flee and and doing what they need to do. A uh, wild west. America, land of the uh, home of the brave stuff. So right. why is it that we don't know their name? Why haven't they be, been doxxed yet? Why haven't they been canceled by the by by the by the lefties? What world are we actually living in? Or was all that BS? And certain people of certain demographics get away with stuff, and certain people don't. Yep, that's the one that hurts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ricky Schroeder. No, yeah, no name because we can't <laughs> identify them because you know we got to protect their their identity uh, and their cause. So, <laughs> as we're talking about COVID, I have had to have a couple of uh, conversations with people about the posting articles about this person got a COVID-19 vaccine shot and now they ended up with COVID. And I'm like, oh, okay, gosh, like, listen, read a little bit, learn a little bit, and help me out a little bit. So, for anyone that's watching and that might be like, yeah, I've seen that too and I agree, stop. So you get the vaccine and they say you have to get it 
And 25 to 30 days later, you get the second vaccine. And then there's still a window that you have to wait before the vaccine does what it's supposed to do. So anyone that has received a vaccine up to this point, and if they happen to have like got the vaccine and now they are COVID positive, ha they have not even fulfilled the window the requirement for the first shot. So it's still possible for that to happen. Stop it, people. Do better. I think, I mean, we are, it's a vaccine, all right? It's a vaccine. All a right? two-part vaccine. Yeah. And even the best vaccines that we have have reactions. Even the best vaccines we have aren't 100%. This is a new vaccine. There's going to be issues, but we shouldn't, I mean, I'm not saying be the, the guinea pig, but don't go out there and deliberately spread mis misinformation or spread misinformation that you just posted something from Facebook. I saw something on Twitter. Um, uh, I'm just retweeting something. It, just it's a lack treatment. of responsibility that, that we seem to be okay with. And we've yeah. all seen the people from a previous generation that from a vaccine, they have a scar on their arm. You know, and it's 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 visible. So if if, if really? you were to see someone, yeah, you don't you don't know what scar I'm talking about. It's like a, it. a circular it's scar. A polio vaccine. Yeah, not it. everybody there. has it. From because this current vaccine. No, That's no, no, no. no, 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 no. From He's from the previous oh, okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha, you. You know, okay. our grandmamas and our mom always have that same circle. Look like a cigarette lighter burn yes. on their arm. That's right, the and, but, and not everybody has it. Like, I've had the polio vaccination, right? And I'm not scarred up like that, you know. The, You're too young. That, da that damn like extension that cord has given me yeah. more scar. <laughs> <laughs> the extension cord vaccination. Like, sounds like he was mad when he was little. How many like really? You know what? That telephone got you. I'm with Sister Gallego. Racetrack? Anybody? Hot Wheel Racetrack? Oh, oh yeah, that just Texas. Right. You can Wire ask my, my mama has gone on public record to let everybody know I was not a bad child. <laughs> Why are you getting me with extension cords? I got a, I got a whooping with extension cords. I wasn't bad. Wire hangers. She started. No wire early. hangers. No wire hangers. <laughs> no wire hangers. No. <laughs> I was switching a belt, but I, I've seen the racetrack. Never I've, had I've a been switch. To, I've been to the Hot Wheel racetrack. I've seen it. <laughs> Knew I didn't want any part of it. You lost that race. <laughs> I want to go back to this, um, this vaccine and catching the vaccine because, and I agree with you that, um, you know, we need to be smart about things. My question is, is let's get to know the woman who got it again. Was she out there? Is she out there without a mask because she had the first part and, and not doing what she was supposed to diligently be doing and, and waiting until she got her second one and tested positive two weeks after that? Was she wearing a mask? Was she out there having, you know, being everybody's face? Is she the one that was in, in Walgreens the other, way, the other day talking about it's a hoax and I don't have to wear a mask? I'm just curious. Mm, also, right. um, what about all the people that were around her? What, what if there was only one person that, that came around and didn't wash their hands who was one of those people but wore their, their mask around her because she had her boundaries? But when they're not around her, they're doing all the things that right. Dr. Fauci and CDC right. and right. NIH say don't do. Just curious. You know, even with birth control, they tell you it's only 99% effective. You still have to do other things you know, until this, you know, it takes effect. There's, you know, like the, the certain types of birth control pill, you still have to do other things that, yeah, uh, yeah Kevin, like, uh, or Carter, there are, there's birth, like the uh, Norplant. We is that get new? That. They tell, the Norplant no, it's not. The, <laughs> For those of us that can read. <laughs> Wait a minute, is this new facts? Hold on. No. Is this on the internet? Oh, it's, on, it's on Al Gore's internet. <laughs> and condoms are not 100% effective. Condoms only having like a 96% effective rate when used correctly. correctly. That wasn't in the 90s though, right? Yeah, but, Break, huh? Breaking news, uh, Michael Carter. Yeah, and, and, and for y'all for y'all spit people out there, that is not correct use. <laughs> also, also, <laughs> the timing method is not 100% effective either. No. Oh, just... <laughs> My brother said leave your socks on, so... And he's got five kids. That's not effective either. Just want to put that out there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, heard, I heard the, girl, I heard the woman said jump on. up and down. Always. <laughs> Peter, if, this, if, this brother that jump up and down. Say that again, Kevin. If they jump up and down, I've heard that's a good protective method. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah. Well, that your is, brother got yeah. confused socks for condom, and he had it on the wrong body part. So could be, but then again, <laughs> used effectively when used effectively. I said he has five kids, so we know that that's a mess. So that's why we are here giving knowledge. Or you can just go with my method. <laughs> I, 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 I don't. I don't know what that yes. is. Yes, yes, assume abstinence. Thank you. For Not abstinence. It starts with an A. But no, there's no. no pregnancy there. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know how we got back to this subject. Get back to this one. Did you, did you go to catechism? Lex. Boy, I'm somebody needs a visit on, the, uh, on this New Year's Eve. Yes, just... they do. <laughs> so well, yeah. I'm a little vitamin F deficient. A little? <laughs> I always say vitamin K. I was like, you need the vitamin K? I don't know what that means either, but I'm going to just let that just... It's false. It's a, it's a false. <laughs> Here, I got we'll that line up. from one of my favorite movies, Claudine. I've never seen it. Never seen it. Yeah. Stefania, have you seen it? it? Claudine? Yeah. No, no. I'm it's the only real black person here. Uh -oh. <laughs> Apparently. Who's in it? I only have chillings for Christmas. Um, the, the James Earl Jones and the Diana Carroll. Okay, I'm going to look it up right now. Yeah, it came out in the night in the seventies, so it's available. It's you can rent it. Um, e D plus. Nah, are you crazy? Nineteen seventy four. Dang. Oh, how well, no, have you seen Claudine? But none of us have. Because I believe in watching old movies. I love black culture. Oh, you know what? I have seen this movie with Diane <laughs> Carroll. Saying... Yeah, me too. With Diane Carroll and Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. Yeah. Oh, dude, Lawrence Hilton Jacobs. That's my boy. So what's the movie about? Yeah. Eyes on me. It, it's a romantic <laughs> Look <up>. comedy. <laughs> what are we talking about here? <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of movies, what have, what have you guys done? Like, what what's the latest thing that you've seen out there? Everybody here should watch Soul. Oh, and right. You should watch it with a kid or a parent. We'll Soul is really good. Yeah, we're gonna watch it tonight. It is really good. It is. It is. It's. It's. And it's a black Pixar movie. Did you? Did you already see Soul? So it's a black movie, and it's a no, black no, no, Pixar no, 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 no. movie. Okay. Well, because there's so many out there. Hold on. Go hold ahead. On. If you let me, I will bless you. Oh goodness. So when we do this with Soul, black Pixar movie. When we do Princess and the Frog, which was a great Disney hold on, movie. Hold on. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Did it. Did it. Just hold on. And then when we do, what was the movie, the the Latino movie that um, they did with they 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 recognized the Day of the Dead. The, uh, yeah, uh, either yeah. was it Coco? Coco? Coco's a great movie. Okay, yeah. hold on. I'm not saying it's not great. What I'm saying, and my problem is, there happens to be a disappearance of black and brown people in these movies, or they are transferred from. from and I know it's animation, but they're transferred from a non-living role either to an animal, a fictitious role, a ghost, um, or they're mm -hmm. dead. Like, we don't get the full blessings as the the non-white, the non-black. Wow. The yeah, Pixar I movies. feel like you, Martin Lawrence, you know, it's all just, uh, just, how did you get there? You're the, I, I would never put that three, put that together with all those movies. That's pretty good. See, you got to open no. your third eye. Yeah, no, let me stop. Just, no, no, I mean, no, no. No. <laughs> No, no. You're no. taking all the no. fun out of Actually, all, my all my everything. Just all let me not watch it now, Don't but it is him. true. Don't listen to me. I just watched Wonder oh, Woman, no. and it was trash. And let them like know. Dude, How the many non-white Amazons were in Wonder okay. Woman? Okay. Time out, time out, time out, time out. I want to talk about this. The Princess and the Frog is literally about New Orleans and New Orleans culture. How long was she in human form? Black. How long right. was she in human form? I agree. I mean, he has a point. I what about the Shadow Man? Wrong. Who? The Shadow Man. Keith David. How long was the Evil. main character in human form? It's a Disney movie. How but long was Cinderella in human is, form? Is that we don't get movies where we are terrible. We stay in human form all the time throughout the whole movie. Like Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, all the... Stay in, stay in human form. We are ghosts. How long was Snow White in human form? Why Harry, Harry Snow White? got human form. The majority right. of the movie, right? These so, are so. great movies. Who said they weren't? 
but you're you are listening to me with your you white lens on the ear, not understanding that I'm saying something specific. You already have me lined up saying that they're horrible movies. No, I did not say that. You're right. You didn't say that. But the problem is because we are not movies. represented in human form. These are no, Disney I didn't movies. say that either. So no, I'm glad no, we're no, recording no. this. You got some homework no, to do. Go no, back and me. listen no, to no, this. Help me. <laughs> you haven't even seen Soul. You haven't even seen. They go to a black barbershop. But okay. He is a soul. He is a he. He is. He is. It's. It's. He is not human. See? No, 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 no. You can't. You can't see. Well, you can do whatever you want, Hashim. Yeah, you articulate. You can't pick and choose. You can't be like, I'm oh, and chosen. Yes, you are. You have no. even seen soul. <laughs> All right. It is about a. It, so when I see soul, you mean to tell me that the black human form character is gonna stay up there the full time? Yes. You're lying. Stay human. All right. So what? <laughs> <laughs> I it's, it's a fun. great movie. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't. And it is it is starring black characters. It has black actors. It is dude, everything's and black this, with a jack. Except this the right. music was written by a white guy by the name of Trent Reznor, who was yes, over but, uh, what you call it. Nine inch nails. Nine, Nine inch nails, nails. nails, but Quest Love was part of the was, it was part I'm of it. Is, is, is I don't understand. I don't understand. No one, because you're so, not listening. What, so, so this what, is like what therapy. Hashim it only is, works if you're open to it. You got to listen what, to it. What I'm hearing from Hashim is that the black, the, these black movies that we're talking about were, they were good, entertaining movies, and they may have had yes. some sort of a wholesome message, but they continuously had a trend of dehumanizing a black person this, in I, some now, way, okay. shape, or form. Now, let me back up. Understanding Stefania's comment about the Martin Lawrence of everybody, of, of putting them in the dress. Putting the black man in the dress. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. Stefania. Then what? Then no, no, why no. can't we have Disney movies with black actors, black characters, black themes, but they turn him into a cat? I mean. No, no, no. Carter's point is that we always play a character. They dehumanize us in these movies. Just like in, in, in movies in the up, up until, what, 10 years ago, we were always pimps and hookers and in drug dealers, well, in cartoons, we are always characters of death, and we always are are, are in inanimate objects. How about that? Or, we're or always human objects. Yeah, we're spirits or con yeah, subconscious people. So that's what he's saying. Yeah, or, the, or the magical. I know we aren't about to give Disney the benefit of the doubt on how they respond to black and brown people and question yeah. me on this. This is Pixar, and we're talking about. Who owns movies. them? Who owns them? No, no. This is what we're talking about. We're not talking about... All I'm simply saying is you have... <sighs> there is a history. No, 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 no. Not, no, no, no. We are having a conversation about no. soul You don't and get to the tell me what I'm flower. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're talking I'm about soul underneath that roof. Under this one, I am the H-N-I-C. <laughs> we're talking about... Well, no, no. We're having a conversation about soul. Don't, I, I you don't even listen to what I'm saying, so we're having a conversation. I'm listening, but you I'm saying up. we're not bringing Disney in because I, I, if you want to play the game about what Disney's done, I got you. I know. Uh -huh. But I'm talking about this movie right here and the characters that it portrays. And you're saying because they turn him into a cat, we can't watch it. or it, It's not representative of black I culture. I did not say we can't watch it. You aren't listening. Then, I said I'm, there is erasure of blackness and brown people that happens in these movies. So this is a perfect segue <laughs> to the new DBT reviews. <laughs> yeah. Where we got two angry black guys who are going <laughs> to argue over the efficacy of black folks in movies. <laughs> and one great. listens and the other one hears. Okay, so right? which one are you? Listening. I, I can't hear you. The other one holds his breath. <laughs> 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 it's all like the day. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's a great movie. And, and so recently, uh, Brianna Taylor's bust was vandalized. Yeah. Come on, man. How, how much lower does it go? I'm just looking at that. Stop and, asking. That's craziness to me. <laughs> when do that's, we that's victimize? Do it. When do we d do that to the victim? Like, really? Like, it, there, there when do we victim bash? That's I terrible. I guarantee you, there are things out there on parlor right now that would turn your skin. 
I turned to your stomach it. about it. stuff that we were like, these are victims, literal victims. And, you know. Yep. Oh, but this is America. Kaka, America, Kaka. Sheesh. Yes. Anyway. Let's get some, hey, look, I, I'm feeling like, I'm, I know, right? Like I'm saying, I'm feeling like getting my night started. I feel like right. having a sippity sip. I'm it's up in the heck. bedroom. Uh, I don't have any li libations with me. So I want to just, just wrap it up with a, with a dope black thought. Can you want to wrap it up in the bedroom? <laughs> hey, look here. So, oh my God. Not I don't think you need tonight. any uh, protection if you buy yourself. But I'll, I'll, I'll it tonight. Oh, I mean, wow. just, just protect, you got to watch your eyes. <laughs> somebody has a one-track mind up in here. Somebody needs some views. Uh, HTC Solutions. <laughs> Sister Gallegos, I am with you. I believe that these gentlemen are out of control. No, I didn't say that. No, don't take See no. what I'm saying? I he don't hear it. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. No. <laughs> I, was, I was wrapping it up, Michael. So that's the definition of in control. <laughs> she told me it was like ten percent accurate. Double entendre there. You started throwing out facts. That's non-zero. So, so you know, uh, I, I'm just gonna start it off with just saying, 2020 was a hard year, yeah. and 2021 might not be much easier, just because we got the presidential outcome we wanted. It wasn't. I mean, and, and I'm saying wanted after the primary. Uh, doesn't mean that 2021 is going to be a blast. And just because there's a vaccine out there doesn't mean COVID's over. Just because, you know, we are bringing forth solutions economically, you know, be, be they watered down or smaller than needed, it doesn't mean our economic struggles are over. So I'm, I'm just thinking of, I'm thinking of it as a continuance of 2020. I'm going to keep on doing the same thing I've been doing is, you know, 10 toes down, you know, gritting my teeth and pushing through this because this ain't over just because it's a new year and Donald Trump's going to be out of office on the 20th. Yeah. <laughs> Who's next? Well, the green I, I, I'm going to go off of, off, of, off of Kevin. And he said he's going to be out of office, but do you know he said he's not leaving the White House? So I say um, you don't have to leave. We have people that will come and forcibly remove don't you. Leave. Please don't. <laughs> All right, okay, Please we'd don't love leave. to see it. We can send Hashim to the kitchen. <laughs> Please don't leave. <laughs> so, Hashim, I got a Pepsi cup. See if I can get him out of there. Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> Bomb it. So, he said he's not leaving. So I say, you know, they, they are, our military no longer takes commands from you as of on the 20th. So we did, you know, stay. We'll forcibly he, remove you. He did talk about martial law, didn't he? Hmm. That's the day. We won't go there. Right. That's a whole nother show. Hmm. I'll go, ah. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I like this little, I appreciate the conversation and the eclectic mix of individuals that uh, Marcus and Kevin and, and all of us and Hashim and Stefania kind of brought together. I, I, I enjoy the conversation. I'm glad uh, to be a part of it. Um, I mean, in 365 days, the amount of individuals, in the last 365 days, the amount of individuals who are no longer in my life is a, a significant list for those who don't know. And so I like and I appreciate the fact that I get to come here and, and, and talk nonsense slash my dope black thoughts with individuals who <laughs> either agree, disagree, but are willing to listen. <laughs> They would relax <laughs> and we can move forward. But like I said, man, I appreciate all you guys. <laughs> I love that. So ditto to what everyone has already said. Um, 20, 2020 has sucked balls. I mean, Salty dirty, unwashed. Duck butter attached balls. <laughs> <laughs> it is horrible. Um, and on a serious note, though, like I really want to take this time out to give acknowledgement to the millions of people who have who haven't made it to today. Um, not just from natural attrition, but from also just ignorance, um, negligence, 
and ignorance. And I'm so sorry that those people are gone. I'm so sorry that the families are devastated. Um, and, I, and I have even more empathy and compassion for those who tried to do the right thing um, and still got caught up in all of this mess. Um, I'm so sorry. I hope your 2021 is a lot better. I hope our 2021 is a lot better. Um, got to echo on what Kevin said, like just, just because we have this one part of the vaccine, part A, 1A of the vaccines out, doesn't mean that we need to lose our minds. We have to remain vigilant. I understand I'm itching. I, have, I go to Hawaii every year and this is like killing me not to go, but I'd rather go later than never to go again. Mm, um, and, and so I just want to encourage people just to stay strong on that. Uh, but as, as, as Michael said, one of the good things that came out of 2020 was this. Um, I appreciate it. I have so much love for you guys. Um, I know and I, I wait to the last minute to even do stuff for us if I do it. Uh, but nonetheless, I appreciate, like, I look forward to this, to these moments. Yeah. Uh, this is us. Like, I mean, we, this is a black experience for those of you all that may not be able to live one. Um, the exchange, the banter, the, oh, you crazy. You don't know what the hell you're talking about type of stuff. Then you flip the coin. That's my homie. That's it. And I'm there. Um, that's blackness. I appreciate how, I appreciate how 2020 has exposed some things for us about who is truly an ally, um, who gets promoted to accomplice, who gets demoted to don't trust them over there. Um, you have to take the good and the bad. I encourage everyone to still watch the movie Soul. <laughs> <laughs> and Claudine. And, and Claudine. Claudine. Double yeah. feature. It, Bam. If you want to see Black people from the beginning to the end of the movie, watch Claudine. <laughs> the first DBT, uh, the first DBT movie review is going to be featuring Hashim Coates and, and Michael. <laughs> right. That would be great. That would be right. how, yes, hilarious. Please <laughs> <laughs> do. Bring the popcorn. But yeah, so but I don't even like, see the movie. <laughs> we are we're we're on our way to Corbell time for folks and for that dark liquor and clear liquor type of time for people. Listen, yeah. utilize Zoom for the free 40 minutes they offer um for your group settings. Utilize Google and other things that do it for free. Mm -hmm. Don't have your behinds out on the roads. Um it's not worth it for any type of possibilities of shenanigans from idiots out there mm. or just from the natural way that things happen with people drinking and driving. And it's not worth it going to a social gathering to be like, fuck 2020 um, and popping bottles, but then you don't get to live to see Martin Luther King's birthday. Yeah. Right? Like, just don't do that. Don't do that. Um, find something good. Find a way to relax. Tomorrow I plan to take a four hour bath and <laughs> burn go. incense. Listen, this is what I plan to do. Um, I will have bathroom breaks, but, um, nonetheless, I'm just saying, I mean, you twisting up your face when I said four hour bad, like, I don't know if you want, I love water on my body, but, um, <laughs> I hope like we all do. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, but I, listen, <laughs> I turn my nose up to people bathing. <laughs> Ain't mine. <laughs> I, I say a water bit. on my body in its natural form. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. 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 But anyway, all I'm saying is find something that is going to 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 renew you, to to help make you whole again, to find that little piece. I encourage everyone if, if it's eating a pint of ice cream, go do that. Oh, no. Um but then like let's go forward with some healthy habits and some better ways of coping with stress in 2021. Bet here, here, and so I'll just bring it. I'll just finish it. I, I diddle everything you all said. You know, um, when this when this concept started with me and Kevin, believe it or not, it was two years ago, uh, and we talked about it. And then we we was right here in this room here in the throne room, as I like to call it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nike, the Nike display we, room. We, we started. We started playing. We started going through it, and you know, our very first show was going through the uh, two hundred just for your information. Uh, we started going through the names of all the black folks who passed away and talking about their story and giving them a voice. That's how we started. 
Uh, but the goal was always to build up to a roster of folks that were diverse in mindset uh, and beliefs and thoughts. And that's where we are. And then I'm, I'm even more proud that that we got, you know, Carter as a partner as well, who's bringing in, you know, Jason. Jason's going, he's going, he's going to carry the flag of DBT. So here's my, here's my thing for 2021. I, I intend to, to buckle down and go harder this year uh, for DBT. So I told y'all about y'all sweatshirts. Y'all getting those. Those is coming. Uh, I'm truly about promoting. We and I'm truly good. We gonna get y'all's mics. <laughs> we, are, we are dead, dead serious about this. Um, we gonna get on Aurora TV. Uh, we gonna build up uh, our clientele, if you will, on YouTube. Uh, we gonna have some production assistants who is gonna be doing this. This is gonna be. This is this is what I'm going hard for. Uh, despite everything else. I'm committed to this, and, and I'm just excited that I got Hashim, that I, that I got Stefania, that I got Carter. Carter, of course, me and Carter go back. That's, that's my brother right there. And then I got, you know, I'm and sorry. then I got Kevin. And, <laughs> you know, and, well, and me and Kevin. I feel love. I feel love. Kenya, love, love Kenya, yeah. yeah, and here's the thing. And, and you know, and here's the funny thing. The, the, the closest <laughs> brothers always are the ones that fight. Well, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing Colts and Carter, C and C. I'm seeing it. <laughs> I'm saying prediction. Colton Carter. Hey. The CC factor. Hey. Hey. Uh, all, hey. all I'm saying is, is that uh, <laughs> I'm going harder. Let, let's get more. Let's get more. Let's, yes. let's build a roster. Let's, let's get those folks who are outspoken and loud, and let's bring them on, and let's give them a platform to speak. Let's build this platform. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm about this year. Solid. And so I, my hope is, and my prayer is, and my belief is, and whatever it is that you choose to do in terms of your faith and belief, is that you all, you four, you stay committed to this cause, and that we that we continue to build this, uh, because it's definitely going. It's, it's, it's we want to make it bigger than all of us. And that's where I'm at. So that's it for me. I'm, all right, I'm appreciate I'm it. I'm part of it. Let's move well, on. Let's get to other realms and let's no, make this happen. So, since the guy goes before we leave, I I agree with you, Carter. Cheers to everyone. Goodbye, 2020. I'm actually looking mm. forward to 2021. I don't care how, I do care how it comes. I'm going to speak positively with some positive vibes. It's going to be beautiful. By 2020, 2021, cheers to everybody. And cheers. we're going to, uh, here's, here, here's a little something for, for everybody. There you go. <laughs> and no DJ Cali, but here we go. That's what's yeah. up. <laughs> All right. Final final word just to say uh go to Patreon. Dope Black Thoughts. We do have some consistent Patreon subscribers who are given every month. So I want us to give a shout out to you all as well. Uh go to uh Dope Black Thoughts on YouTube, obviously here on Facebook, and uh and and obviously on any of your favorite podcast channels, you can find Dope Black Thoughts. We are there. And we'll be there. We come in with new content. With that, I just want to say peace out to, to all the folks out there who don't watch live, but who will be watching it sooner or later. Peace. Love and soul. Love and soul.